Here's your latest flash briefing from Western Mass News. Good evening, I'm Sarah Grinelli and here's what's making headlines right now. Two children and a teenager have died from a possible complication from the coronavirus in New York today. The condition involves swollen blood vessels and heart problems similar to a rare inflammatory condition. More than 70 children have been diagnosed with symptoms in New York and yesterday a similar illness was found in Boston. Doctors are urging parents to call a doctor if your child has a persistent fever. And the search is still on for a missing Springfield man. 21 year old Jovan Vergara was last seen in December on December 9th. State police say they were searching the Franklin Street area this morning. Please reach out to the Springfield Police Department with any information. And the music world has lost an icon today. Little Richard passed away from bone cancer. His former agent confirms the rock and roll legend's death. Little Richard's helped influence the biggest names in music, including Elvis Presley, Paul McCartney, and Mick Jagger. He was presented with the Lifetime Achievement Grammy in 1993. He was 87 years old. Well, it has been a windy day out there, and we're still going to hang on to some breezy conditions as we head on into tonight, though the winds will not be gusting 50-plus miles an hour like we've seen this afternoon. But we are talking about the potential for near-record cold tonight. We get some sunshine in here for Mother's Day, but it's going to remain a breezy and cool. In fact, temperatures are going to run below normal through the middle part of next week. We do have a freeze warning up for Franklin, Hampshire, Hamden County from midnight tonight till 8 a.m. Sunday morning. Cover up or bring in any sensitive vegetation. In fact, we will challenge the record low at Westover tonight, which is 27, set back in 2016, going for a forecast low of 30 here in Springfield. And temperatures continue below normal for the next couple of days. We get to near 60 on Monday, but a cold front brings some showers. And behind that, we're going to cool back down into the 50s on Tuesday. In fact, the 50s are going to be with us for Wednesday as well. But then we may finally moderate temperatures a little bit as we head towards the end of the week and into next weekend. But it will also come with some shower chances. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.